Welcome back. It's December 31st, 2020. Uh, today's, uh, today's legendary lost sector is Exodus Garden 2A. Uh, this one is probably the easiest uh, lost sector, sector to um, complete. I'm going to go through it very methodically uh, today. Hopefully uh, those that are struggling with it will be able to see this and, and figure it out and, and get through it. Um, so Exodus Garden 2A, Legendary Lost Sector, Legend Difficulty is Extra Shields, Match Game, Locked Equipment, Fallen Champions is Barrier and Overload, Modifier is Scorched Earth. Scorched Earth is um, the Fallen significantly throw more grenades. So it's very important to, you know, take down all of the red bar enemies before you start tackling the uh, champions because you'll just get bombarded with grenades. A destination modifier is plus solar and environmental damage taken, and burn is void damage. Um, I think this is exotic leg armor and an enhancement core. Alright, so um, I'll take you in right now. We'll go through the loadout, and then we'll proceed with the Lost Sector. Okay, so to, to bring up the active modifiers, uh, bring up your ghost and then hit the down button. And then that will bring up the active modifiers. So again, Scorched Earth as enemies throw grenades significantly more often. Um, champions are fallen. This mode contains both barrier and overload champions. Uh, legendary modifiers is locked loadout, match game, extra shields. Uh, memory of a golden age, incoming solar environmental damage increased. There's some fallen with some sort of crazy solar cannons that uh, you want to stay away from because they're pretty much a one-shot. Uh, Forlorn, my Miasma is 50% uh, plus 50% void damage dealt and received and limited revives. Um, this is a pretty easy one. I mean, I, I am a higher light level, about 1270, so it does feel pretty easy. But uh, I'm just going to go through my loadout pretty quick here. Um, so what you want to do in this one, because you have a boss that's high up into in a, in a very large open space, it's difficult to hit him with any kind of melee weapons. So what I decided to go with was any weapon that has range, like a scout rifle, a pulse rifle, and a rocket launcher. So uh, pick out your best ranged weapons and then make sure they have void damage uh, to com uh, complement them. So I'm just going to go through my loadout here. So I'm going to go with the Nightwatch scout rifle. Everybody gets this scout rifle if you go through the basic Destiny um, uh, campaign. For the Cosmodrome, I think you get this as a drop. Uh, the Graviton Lance, I don't know if this is how easy this is to get, but I do recommend this. Or you can go with the, I think it's the Last Perdition um, Pulse Rifle. And then I'm going to go with this Bad Omens. It has tracking and cluster bomb. And then I put Major Spec on all weapons, uh, if available, as the we are fighting powerful enemies in this sector. And then I decided to go with resilience on all socketed on all my armor and rocket launcher uh, also socketed on all my armor as well. So I have taking charge, supercharged, shield break charge. I can harvest charges of light. Uh, there's a couple servitors, one at the very beginning and one midway through the game just before the end boss uh, that I can harvest charge of light from. So I can hit it, break the shields four times get my max charge of light and then I can proceed on. You'll see me do that in the game here. And then I'm going to go with uh, Orpheus Riggs complemented by the Night Stalker, uh, Way of the Pathfinder, so Shadow Shot. I'm going to try this. It gets a little crazy kind of three quarters of the way through the game there. You get a lot of uh, mobs, but I'll show you how to mitigate that. Um, so without further ado, I'm just going to continue on here. So we're two, fifth, 2 minutes and 52 seconds into the game. I'm just going to continue and see if I can make it. Usually I can get this done pretty quick. Uh, under the 10 minute mark. So I'm just going to wait for this servitor to uh, load a shield up again. And, uh, so that gives me charge light times 2. I'm going to wait for that shield to come back up and then hit it again. And charge light times three, and then I'm just gonna going to take this guy down now. 
and then wait for the shield to charge back up. There, I'm charged. Charged with light times four. One thing nice about the Graviton Lance, I mean, this used to be a pretty useless weapon, but um, they made some changes to it. And uh, it is way more effective at uh, dealing with mobs than that now because they have these little orbs that, void orbs that come off. And uh, anything that's kind of in the area. Take those other guys out. Yeah, so it's kind of effective. It's pretty, pretty nice. And then I just kind of, um, I just go up here. I find it's better. These other things don't really have any kind of grenades. But uh, they will hit you quite a bit. I'm just going to wait for this thing to kind of pop its shield. There it is. And then it's going to hit it with this rocket launcher. And it took one stack of charge with light. Oh, um, I should have the uh, champion here pop up. So I'm going to take him down as well, wherever he is. So let's get out your scout rifle. And then you could just take your time with this champion. Just periodically hit it with some um, scout rifle ammo. Actually, these champions are so easy to take out. You just... And then I just finish him off with my rocket launcher. So I whittle him down to half health, and then I just hit him with the rocket launcher. Uh, charge with light times two now. And I still have somebody alive. Oh, there we go. Uh, it's so nice to be able to take all these guys out at range because you don't have to get... Things don't have to get messy. And just let the um, orbs that spawn from the uh, gun do all the work. Alright, um, so the trick with this part in the midsection is that you never enter. See that? truck that's kind of there you never ever go beyond that threshold you can climb up on top of that storage container but i would never ever go beyond that um, the reason is is that as soon as you step foot in that area everything starts spawning um, and it just creates uh, just this crazy protracted battle of attrition and um, that takes a tremendous amount of time so i just sit at range here and um, i'll take everything out I don't like that weapon, so that's... I, these weapons, I find, are just absolutely brutal. They just kind of just seek you out. So again, I'm going to deal with this guy the same way. Uh, staggered him again. And then I'm just going to hit him. Just slowly hit him so you can't recharge. And then I'm just going to finish him off with the rocket launcher. Okay, so now that he's done, there's one server to, sitting in the back, so I'm just going to harvest the char charge of light from him. So I'm at plus four already, so I don't really need to do anymore. Just crawl up on this and just keep hitting him. And then the other barrier uh, servitor will come out here. He'll appear in the back eventually. There he is. So as long as you don't step off this box, um, you won't have any more uh, guys spawn here. And so what you want to do is just whittle him away until hopefully he doesn't actually charge himself back up back there. Uh, good, we're still there. So he's going to charge himself up any minute now. There he is. See if I can take him out with one hit. And then one more. There we go. Okay, so now you're going to have a whole pile of guys. They're going to want to enter there. And you just want to just pick them off. It's super easy. As long as you keep them contained in this area here, you'll be totally fine. And the Graviton Lance, because of all the orbs it's spawning, it'll just keep 
killing everything that spawns in. And then your final boss will be this, or this final one will be the servitor, which is kind of nice because you can harvest the charge of light. So as soon as the shields come up here, hit the charge of light, and then on times, oh, I didn't break the shield. Get down here. Sometimes there's these wretches that hide, so you just want to be aware that you don't want to be roaming around in here just in case there's a couple wretches that are running around. Especially in the 1280 kind of light level. They can pretty much just one-shot you. And uh, yeah, that's that's it. So what I will do is I'll get my rocket launcher out here and I'll try to find the boss. And I'll hit it with a couple rockets. And the boss is gone. And that is pretty much it. There really isn't much left in the game to take out all these mobs. And I think there's one servitor left I saw up there. There he is. See if he's going to give me some problems. Yeah. So what I'll have to do is I'll have to stun him somehow or just take him out. There we go. Oh, need to reload. And then just mop up and we're done. So we did that in, I don't know, probably six, seven minutes. I spent the first three minutes kind of just chatting about the level, but there you go. There you have it. And then you can just finish these guys off if you want. Oh, maybe not. Hell, they all flew out of the way. That's pretty awesome. All right. Usually they just kind of sit there, but I guess they saw the rocket coming. Anyways, that's it. That's all, folks. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.